What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Mega Man X4. Today, we fight Sigma. Now, Sigma is a fight with several stages. Ready for your final journey? First stage, he's in Grim Reaper form, and he's really freaking easy. All you have to do is stand perfectly still and use the Ryunji. And every second time, that, after hitting him twice, every second time, he will then teleport over to one of the sides, the, always the opposite side from you, and he will try and sweep the ground with his scythe. So all you have to do is run over to the side, jump up the wall, and jump over him. And you should be able to do this without getting hit at all. I managed to get hit at the start there somehow. So then he uh, whips off his cloak. And this, this part is a bit harder. But you should be able to do this part as well without getting hit if you do it right. So, first he will spin his scythe in a circle once and again. This time it plants itself in the wall. He starts using his laser eyes and yeah. So here's what you, how it goes. Spins the scythe around once, hit him, then you want to stand near the wall. It's really important that you stand near the wall because if you're standing near the ground the scythe will stick in the ground, and if it's in the ground, it's a lot harder. You can see those little bolts of energy going al along the wall. If those are going around along the ground, they're a lot harder to dodge. And there's these little things that will shoot out of the scythe and come after you, which are really hard to dodge. And he does that uh, if it's in the ground, instead of using his laser eyes. The laser eyes are really easy to dodge if you just sit on the wall. On obviously the opposite wall of the site. This isn't the best example of how to do it because I got hit a couple times. Mostly from sliding down the wall into Sigma, but what you can do if you're careful, uh, you can actually stand behind him, but sometimes he'll hit you like while you're jumping up or, or something. But anyways, uh, there's a, a little health thing there that you can see, so it doesn't matter, they got hit a couple times. Tremble with terror, you are finished. And now he transformed into a giant robot. Okay, so the big thing that this uh, form does is he has three these three head things. Okay, and he's got a giant head too. So that head will try and blow you into those spikes. And every time there's a, uh, a transition, uh, those three little heads will pop up and one of them will be doing something. Basically he's got this big head, and then he's got the other one in the bottom left corner. And every time it switches, one of those three colored heads will come out. So now this guy comes out, and we have to kill that. You have to kill both that and the big robot head. So the fire one again. The fire one just shoots fireballs at you and you have to kind of dodge vertically. This one's not too hard, you just kind of double jump up in Quenzon. Try not to hit him or the spikes on the red head there. You can kill the red head if you really need to. This blue one will just kind of move along the side and try and shoot stuff at you. I actually want to use a sub tank here because one of the things that the this head will do is sometimes he'll try and blow you into spikes, but other times he'll do that. He'll suck you in and then try and shoot a bunch of rocks at you. And uh, that's kind of hard to avoid, so I. Want, that's why I want to use a sub tank. So 
also. That head is dead. And we gotta kill the other one now. And they both <laughs> happen to be low health at the same time. And that's that. This weapon is aimed at Earth! You would think that destroying it would kind of stop it. Well, I, I guess I didn't destroy the weapon, I destroyed Sigma. Okay, so now what? I guess we better get out of here? General? It's okay, General. I don't care if you did tons of evil things. I guess he does have a pretty big body. And he is already kind of blown to bits, so... Yeah, okay. I guess I, I, I can live with him sacrificing himself to the cause. And lo, our intrepid heal healers? Our intrepid hero lets someone else save the day. So, this is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. What are you talking about? You saved the world by killing Sigma. Please stop, brother. Sarah. Iris, did we Reploids all turn out to be Mavericks after all? I would say no, just because a Maverick is a Maverick and a Reploid is a Maverick. But, I mean, Really, Mavericks are just evil Reploids, so I guess if you're evil and you're a Reploid, you're a Maverick, even if you don't have the Maverick virus. Or you may as well be. Well, that's okay, because we get happy music! And normally during the credits, I would kind of talk a bit about what I, what I think of the game, but I, I'm only really half done the game, so I'm just gonna wait until I finish the game with X. So uh, I guess instead I'll talk a bit about the differences between X and Zero, um, or maybe more just about talk about Zero. See, personally I really like playing Zero a lot better than playing X, and it's kind of hard to explain why, but it's just a lot more entertaining than just kind of shooting at stuff, because you have to do a lot of more um, dodging and trying to get close uh, without getting too close. Uh, I guess I just feel like it takes more skill and precision. I mean, X has uh, his own, you know, tips and tricks and whatever, but I just feel like Zero is more fun. Basically, I like everything about Zero except for how whiny he is in this game. That and it kind of sucks that there are certain bosses that are made like ridiculously hard by the fact that none of the abilities that Zero learns are actually good against them. In particular, Magma Dragoon is a bit of a bitch. So, anyways, after this, uh, I will be playing X, who you know it's basically the same game, but it's kind of surprising how differently the game plays uh, when you're playing a different character. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed that it says, end all Capcom staff. I, I, I always like it when it said, Capcom all, all staff. Maybe that's just me. No, thank you for playing. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Thank you for making? 
thank you for watching. Yeah. So, that is the end of Zero's Path. I will see you again next time on Let's Play Mega Man X4. Except this time, I will be blue.